Hello, my beautiful souls. Guess what? It's time for a random read. <laughs> I hope you're doing amazing. These cards look absolutely great. Scrumptious, I want to say. So we have faith, love, and celebration. Beautiful, okay? This is very true for... Okay. So some of you have been dealing with some really healing situations when it comes to your love life, right? And it kind of feels like time is dwindling down, all right? Especially with you waiting for someone, okay? I don't know and I don't feel that that person is going to come back. They might, okay, from what I see here. But I do see even, even if that person doesn't come back, there is some new love coming into your life. This is my magical love card. So this is like um, miracles surprises things like that but there's going to be really reason for you to celebrate i do feel like there's a little bit of confusion right so you don't see or there's something you don't see or you feel like something is there um i'm feeling pisces cancer pisces scorpio i'm feeling fire signs aries leo sagittarius with this one in air okay there may be some earth in here there is some brown in that car that does ring true to me but because it's it's built more on um, your energy, what where you're directing your energy and love, there's a lot, there's lots of uh, water here and fire. Okay, so let's pull just some random cards. Ten of Swords in reverse, Justice, Two of Cups in reverse, and the Six of Cups. Okay. Okay, so. Somebody has been feeling like it's time to make a move. Either this is you or the person that you're dealing with, okay? But there definitely needs to make a, be a move or some sort of change if you want to have balance in the situation. This feels to me as if it's something that has just been going on for a long time. As I said before, maybe healing took a long time. Time for someone to get over something that really hurt their feelings. Or they had to go through some sort of spiritual growth in order to get through what they needed to get through okay with the two of cups here it looks like they may have had to separate some back from someone or they're trying to put a relationship back together or this could be you as well this is general energy okay so six of cups talks about someone coming back around okay from something that was either broken up or not working to try to see if there's some way to get it back together right um, this person is really hurt about this situation and would like for it to come together. That's one of their hopes in the situation, okay? I feel like they've been holding on to their hurt for a long time and that's why the justice isn't coming through. This person may have a little bit of problems with letting things go, especially with the seven of wands in reverse, okay? Um, because they have fear of being rejected because there was a split up or you weren't seeing eye to eye. So they're just afraid um, of what's going to happen or that could be you as well. Mm. They may think that there's no future here. They might. Okay. Like you're not going to stick around. But they definitely see a future with you though. Like if they had to choose a future or if you had to choose a future, it would be with this person. Could be a scan Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, okay? Someone's going to get their confidence level up, okay? They need to be able to make a sacrifice to talk to you, to come to you, to, to see if this is going to be open, right? It looks like they have to make a sacrifice for that to happen in order to get what they want. They need to form some sort of confidence, right? It's kind of like they need to feel like they already have it in order to come back. They need to be 100% confident whether this be you or them, okay? Yeah, they may be holding on too tightly to their independence or the life that they have created for them now. Because they've gotten quite comfortable there, right? And, you know, adding rejection to that is not something that they want to feel. I feel like this person has been watching you. They know about you, right? They're building up their confidence. They kind of feel like you're doing your own thing. You may be talking to someone else. Or you may still have your walls up with this person. Like, they feel like you may not be ready or open 
to opening up or being in some sort of relationship with them. Yeah, so they're not talking. They're not moving. Nothing's happening, right? They may be doing more watching than speaking or not speaking at all, okay? And it really has to do with this person being extremely comfortable. But the memories of you, the hopes for you are still there. They could also be waiting on you and you could be waiting on them, right? They may feel, oh, this is interesting. They may feel like you have done something wrong to them, but you feel like they've done something wrong to you, okay? So it's like both of you are kind of feeling the same things. It kind of feels like it's uh, piggybacking off of each other in that way, right? So everyone's waiting in their own space right like they're nurturing their own space you're nurturing their your own space and they're nurturing their own space right but there has to be some work put in here in order for things to change and what's interesting is it this is unconventional for both of you you don't feel like you're gonna go back and they don't feel like they're gonna go back but there has to be some something put in here okay i don't know why but i feel like this person um yeah, they're going to let loose. They're going to let loose because I feel like they want to stay in this position. Like they want to stay here because it's comfortable. But if they want to win, if they want you, they're going to have to step out of it. So this is the choice that they have to make. And I feel like they will. This is a process. But when they get here, they're going to come out. Okay, this could be someone new as well. They had to break up with someone. Okay, Maybe a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Some of you may have been dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that you tried to maybe rekindle something with. But it just seems like this person is just separating from you. What's interesting is you. it, it feels like I'm okay with this. <laughs> I'm okay with taking the rest. Okay, this is what's going on with your Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. They want something different, whether this be with you or someone else. Um, I'm getting fire here. So Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Maybe leaving an Earth sign behind. But they are separating from this or you are separating from this. Someone has something new or wants something new. And... Holding on to this seems to be like some kind of burden because no one was getting what they truly wanted. And it's kind of like you're peacefully separating. I don't feel like you're upset with this person. Okay, let me see what I got under here. Let me move this out. Okay. So if you're dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, I feel like they think about you. They feel like you're fully uh, broken up, okay? They're afraid to come towards you. Uh, I, I just don't feel like they, they either are dealing with a Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or some sort of air sign, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, or... They're just too headstrong right now and comfortable where they are. They've gotten comfortable in the situation and they're scared of change and they're really defending that change. They, they've they just gotten really comfortable there. Um, fire sign. There's waiting. Either you're waiting for them or they're waiting for you. Okay no one's putting up the fight okay I feel like your fire signs get in their confidence back um, they have their wall up it's gonna be really hard to get into them right now because I feel like a lot of people want them and they're gonna explore that I like they don't want the drama of relationships like this just kind of stress them out a little bit they want something more light if you're in a relationship with them you know, the heaviness is getting old for them. Earth signs, of course you're focusing on work, okay? Um, I do feel like you're opening up a little bit, though, at work. 
So if there's a relationship that's going to start, it feels like it's going to center around work or your home in some way or something that has to do with making money. This, you could actually uh, meet someone that could help you make more money or be intertwined in your career in some way. There's a need for you to let go of some conventional relationship where someone isn't talking to you, Earth sign. Um, or you're not getting what you need out of a relationship. This is a good time for you to kind of let those go by the wayside. I do feel like someone is thinking about you though, but again, they're not moving. A lot of you are dealing with a, a water sign or someone that just isn't putting effort in. It's all about finding balance here and making change and letting go of things um, I see here. But I do see goodness coming into everyone's life. I mean, I, I see it. It's just taking its little time. I do feel like there are people out there that want you. You know, you just have to see them. So as soon as you, you know get into this energy where you're letting all of the the negative energy go where the bad relationships are healing things are going to start to come into your life but it's not that it's interesting though guys because it's not that it's just coming into your life you know it's that you have emptied out the area where you needed to create space in order for love to come in so that's why it's coming in or trying to come in you okay so we're still like right at the butt end of letting things go and new things coming in so it's very beginning energy you're not really in the midst of anything or any real you know solid decisions being made here Okay, let's pull some romance angels and see what we got here, my beautiful souls. Okay, first card we have forgiving and learning. That's the first step, as I said before, moving on from something that you have been holding on to or harboring. Forgiving that person, realizing that they just weren't for you, this wasn't the time, or they just weren't ready. You know, it has nothing to do with you. And again, this opens up your life with engagement or your love life so you can be open to new things and for new things to come in. Heart to heart conversations. I feel like there's really going to be someone that you connect with and you, you won't believe it, you know. It's like it just kind of happens. It, it comes into your life. It integrates into your life. It's not something that you try to create or make happen. It, was, it feels like it's just for you, you know, like it just is. So thank you so much for listening, guys, and I will see you for the October readings. Yeah. <laughs> so remember to like if you got something here that you could use, any messages. Share if there's anyone that you know that could use this information or this message. Subscribe if you want to hear me talk more and more. <laughs> And also comment just so I know how this um, influenced you or how it um, took effect in your life, okay? Also, I do private readings. Links in the description box below. So, I love you so much and I will see you later. Bye-bye.